Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shimon. This is In Plain Sight Tarot and I'm back with another pick a card reading for you guys. And this time's pick a card reading is going to be about why are you so sweet? Okay, we're going to be looking into why are you so sweet? Okay, so um, I'm hearing that this is also, you, you can treat this as, you know, why your soulmate is going to find you so sweet, you know, when you come together. Okay, so why are you so sweet? straight to the piles why are you so sweet you clear the energy why are you so sweet why are you so sweet what makes you so sweet? Okay, pile number one. Box. Okay, you have box. Did we have box? Man, I don't remember anymore. Let's just use it. Box. Harp. Pile number two. Why are you so sweet? Chin, pile number three. Okay. Right. So pile number one, we have box. Pile number two, we have harp. Pile number three, chain. Okay. Choose your piles. Not pile your piles, choose your piles. <laughs> Typo, because it's a copy paste thingy, so I overlook that thing all the time. Anyway, so pile your piles. Um, and then you can get straight into. Wait. You choose your timestamps and then straight into pile number one, okay? What makes you so sweet? Why are you so sweet? What makes you so sweet? You are a gift to others. People see you like you're, you look like this, um... <laughs> oh my god, I just heard a box of chocolates. You're like a box of chocolates. Um, yeah, um, some of you might, might be quite private introverts, okay, some of you might be um, introverts, you might be the INIs, the, 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 on the, I'm seeing an INFP, INF, JI, uh, I, all the I's, the introverted personalities, okay. You're sweet because you put thought into your gifts. You like giving gifts and um, you put a lot of thought into the things that you give. That's why you're so sweet. When you give someone, you you make sure you give it right. Your gifts are not hasty, I'm hearing. You want to do things right. Because I'm seeing this box is very elaborate, you know. So it's almost like I'm seeing someone carving like things in the on the box, right? Like intricate details, you know. It's like some someone who carves, right? And... <clears throat> Yeah, and uh, 
Maybe some of you are very crafty too. Or some of you make your gifts, you know, like with your with your own hands. I'm hearing voice box too. Okay, so voice box. Um, you might have a really sexy, even <laughs> boxy voice, foxy, foxy voice. Yeah, foxy voice. Now I'm seeing fox. You're very foxy for some reason, and that's why you're so sweet. I don't know why I just heard that, foxy. And now I'm seeing like like these tassels. Looks like a fox's tail. Yeah, your gift, like people. Like anything that comes out of your mouth is a gift, basically. Maybe some of you are singers. Maybe some of you use your voice, you know, to give um, words of encouragement, words of affirmation, words of, yeah. The things that you say are a gift to others and people keep it tightly in a box in the corner of their mind locked up they remember because the things that you say are intricate some of you might be earth signs for some reason because I'm seeing like with this box right um you that it's it's wood and it's made out of trees right so 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 you're very earthy. So the things that you say, the words that you you give are a gift. Like I said, some of you might be singers, some of you might write music. So sweet. Yeah, you put a lot of thought in your gifts. Even if it is just little notes I'm hearing. Like you put a lot of thought in 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 what you write, in the way you write. Some of you even um, some of you might have like really nice handwriting and even if it's not nice like neat handwriting it's very flowy it's got it's like an artist's handwriting you know <laughs> or I'm, I'm hearing I don't know I'm hearing architect architect's handwriting mountain mountain <coughs> yeah I'm hearing that you are a for some reason a powerhouse i'm hearing a powerhouse with mountain here it's like you have accumulated like amount of i don't know why i'm seeing like this is a pile of gold okay six could be a significant number You're a mountain of wisdom. The words you put together, you know, you, you put them together and then you put them neatly in a box that you intricately carved yourself. You know, even the lock and the key and, you, you know, you put a lot of thought into it. You put it neatly in this little box. You don't like to rush things. You want to do things right. It has to sound right. Why did I hear sound right? Okay, so yeah.
some of you, you, your old souls, you, you feel like you're not <laughs> from this era I'm hearing. Oh my God, why am I getting visions of Peaky Blinders? Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting a vision of like, you know, yeah, th those times. Oh, what's, is that the 1920s? It was after the war or something? I don't know, you guys, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm just getting these visions. I'm seeing a vision of Killian Murphy. He's hot, isn't he hot? Killian Murphy, yeah, I'm getting a vision of him. Someone here could be from Ireland or could have Irish roots, right? Um, yeah. Someone here could have like dark red hair. Dark, very dark. Like it's not, it's not like red, red. It's yeah. Cleaning house. You're very clean. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing. Um, yeah. There's something about you, the way you keep your house clean or keep your place clean. You like orderliness in your place. Not a lot of people know this about you, I'm, I'm hearing. Yeah, you keep this, I, I, I feel like not a lot of people expect you to be someone who is incredibly clean, I'm hearing. Or, or someone here could have like slight OCD tendencies, that's what I'm hearing, okay? Slight. I'm not diagnosing anyone, I'm just saying like, you know, you might be anal about certain things. <laughs> um, education. <clears throat> You're very learned. You're very learned, but I'm also hearing like, um, you're not just book smart, you're also street smart. You're also someone who, oh, look at this, okay. So she's reading a book, education, but there's a fairy that you, 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 you're educated, but it's very, I don't know what I'm hearing, it's very tasteful, it's very refined, whatever it is that you're educated, educated on, you, <clears throat> you've managed to refine um, your skills here, and yeah, that's what people find so sweet about you. Okay, you're refined. Okay, let's go into tarot. Should we look? Okay, let's pull three more cards from here. You know, I'm hearing like you could look very, like, very, um, scruffy you know like on the outside like that's what i said like you look very scruffy but then pe people don't expect you to actually be someone who's actually quite clean you know you like to you, you like things in order you like things to be put back where they found them or where people find it and then you 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 like things to be <laughs> in their place i keep hearing that okay and um yeah you're very learned you're very educated you're very intellectual as much as you are um, intelligent you're very imaginative too I mean um, in the way you educate yourself uh, yeah some of you might be teachers okay in some capacity You might even, there, there's something about you, um, liking 
old toys or something like maybe you collect like vintage toys I'm getting vintage items and then you like to uh, maybe you you re um, restore them that's what I'm hearing yeah there's something about restoring something you like restoring stuff I think there's something about you doing something that keeps you focused um, there's something that you do that keeps you quite focused uh, and I'm seeing someone's focused face I like seeing people's face focus on something it's 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 yeah that's what you know people might find sweet and endearing about you is when you're really focused on something yeah here and now okay we have here and now so <clears throat> for god's sakes what's going on with my throat here and now um past future you know how to be present okay with the people around you okay when 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 they have something to say and when you say something or when you when you talk you it's almost like oh my god I'm, why am i hearing this your your words are timeless that's what i'm hearing here and now it's like even in the present even if your words um your your words are meant to last for a very long time your whatever it is that you speak about is meant to last for a very long time speak write even poetry or whatever it is uh, you might um, be an author, you might be a lyricist, you might be a poet, you might be, um, yeah, writers. Current. Although, even though you're timeless, a very earthy aesthetic too no place like home under cleaning house look at that yeah there's something about you maybe the, the where you live you know like the the the, the way you 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 decorate your place you know it could be how you are careful with your home yeah when you pay attention to your house is sweet maybe you do have like a sweet um kind of decor i don't know why i'm hearing like you know i i don't know why i'm i'm seeing cottage core english uh maybe even who am i hearing french countryside you know like the yeah <laughs> english countryside english english someone here could be english okay someone here is very I don't know are your your parents teachers someone in your family teachers um, with education here maybe you have a long line of teachers yeah no place like home you are a homebody you're an, you're you're an introvert and this is what is so sweet about you for some reason is what people find sweet about you a lot of people love the fact that you're an introvert you know candle went out by the way so <laughs> anyways loyal heart you are a what the fuck is going on with my voice <clears throat> loyal heart <laughs> You are a loyal heart. You're 
you're loyal to I'm hearing your mind, your brain, your 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 imagination. Cause I'm seeing like um Yeah. You're very loyal to your imagination. You're very loyal to your um, creative mind. This is what makes you so sweet. Because you're loyal. And there's something about you. Um, I guess I'm hearing education, you know, is very important to you. It doesn't matter what you, you're being educated on, but the way you're being educated on. Maybe you have, a, maybe you have an unconventional way of educating others, you know. It's very important to you. For people to be educated right i think you have this kind of view and and you know this is what people find sweet about you okay so what signs you're very present when you talk to others when you um, I mean, when you're when you're with something that engages you, you're so present. But you are more loyal to your imagination for some reason. Um, I'm hearing like when you you kind of like you tend to drift off. But it's not because you're being rude or anything. Because your mind is very active, but you like it. It doesn't trouble you. You like being with your mind. You like being with yourself. I mean, with um, you know, no place like home here, and cleaning house. You like being in your own energy. That's what makes, that's what makes you so sweet. You enjoy your own company. Maybe that's why you're so private. You know, with box here. You're very rare. You are a rarity. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay. Rarity. Ten of Cups, gorgeous. Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Okay, I'm getting a message. The Tower. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. So you've been through a lot, so I'm hearing with mountain here, but you're happy now, you're happy where you're at. What makes you so sweet is that you're happy where you are at. There's also something about yeah, with seven of swords here, people don't people don't really realize these things about you you know or or they don't expect this of you you might have strong scorpio in your chart with the tower here um like yeah a lot of, a, a lot of water and air the 
tower. And there's something about... I don't know why. Um, I'm hearing you want to... There's something about you wanting to change the education system or something. You might be into wanting to like completely bring towers down in the, in the education sense to the way, the way people um, are being educated, the way kids, children are being educated, I'm hearing. And you're quite loyal to this. This means a lot to you, I'm hearing. Um, if, you, if, if this is not something that you see yourself doing, I'm hearing that you might change your mind at some point in the future um, you know you might find yourself working in education right um, educating kids okay and this is something that you'd be so really loyal to you're very good at keeping up a different appearance um, than what you are truly or who you are truly inside you protect that part of you and you like it that way it's not like you're hiding anything because you want to hide you are hiding because you like it you like it being in your own energy no place like home cleaning house And I'm also hearing you like you you can spot, you know, like from a mile away when someone is not being real with you. The seven of swords here. Why? Because you are so in tune with your intuition, hey. Okay. You're very present, you're emotionally fulfilled, wherever you are at right now, okay? So yeah, part number one, that was your reading, that is that is what makes you so sweet, okay? And um, I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pal. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing, you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. And I will see you in my next video, okay? Hi, pal number two. So you guys chose <clears throat> heart. Okay, great happiness. You are someone who brings great happiness to others. You are someone who is generally quite happy. Okay. I wouldn't say you're greatly happy, but you are quite happy. You are quite content where you are at. That doesn't mean you're not always looking for, you know, more. But you are enjoying the present, I'm hearing. Someone here could do music, right? Someone here could literally play the harp or you might be planning to take up the harp or a string instrument <clears throat> or you play a string instrument. Maybe your music is really sweet, okay? I'm looking at the arm. Um, maybe you have really nice soft skin or you have yeah, you have um, sweet skin. <laughs> Some of you might have really cursive handwriting, I'm hearing. It's very cursive, very flowy.
dragon. You might have a dragon as a totem animal. Some of you might have a dragon tattooed somewhere or planning to. Your voice is also like a harp. Like you have a really nice voice. Your voice is really chill. One could be significant, ten could be significant. Wow. Okay. So we have goblins and balancing act. Okay. So you're surrounded by people. <clears throat> I mean that you know that you can't really quite trust. You know that there are some people who are actually <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing this. Um, you 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 kind of get the notion that there are some people who want to see you at rock bottom or want to run you to the ground or they expect you to be at rock bottom. Okay. But you manage to balance that out. With balancing act here, you know how to balance difficult times. Or even if you know that you're dealing with difficult people around you, but you can't, it's almost like these people around you, you can't really necessarily get away from them. Um, I'm hearing some of these people might be uh, you know, doing business with you or working with you, um, your employees, your, you know, you know that they're, they don't have the best intentions or yeah, they want to see you fall, but you still manage to balance that gracefully. You deal with them gracefully too. Um, that's what I'm hearing. You're very good at balancing. There's something about a balancing act. You know how to act around these people. For some reason, that's that's something that is really sweet about you. You kind of don't wish bad upon others, even though these people, you know, are acting like goblins around you, and would prefer to see you at your worst. Five could be a significant number, eleven could be a significant number. You are graceful, I'm hearing. Okay. 
okay. Two could also be a significant number. someone who knows how to get yourself out of rock bottom you have you have and you've had to deal with a lot of dishonest people in the past okay um, but somehow you managed to balance it out gracefully You don't complain. Happy, happy. That's very um, synchronistic. Great happiness, happy, happy. You managed to get out of a difficult situation or maybe even a few difficult situations out of your life and now you are happy. You can honestly say that you are happy and you bring when you are I mean it's not to say like you're happy happy it's not like oh my God, you're content it's, it's it's like you're not you're not so in the depths anymore oh my god all that glitters yeah people with people who wore back um, are wearing masks around you all that glitters <laughs> I'm seeing a vision of goblins right I'm seeing a vision of go goblins wearing these like masks you know trying to make themselves look better than they actually are but they're actually goblins you know maybe you're, you're surrounded by a lot of people who are like that right who wear very like intricate masks and everything um, very elaborate, intricate, confusing masks, but really deep down they're goblins. And you know this, you kind of know this, you sense it, you know it, um, but <clears throat> you, you, you've managed to pull yourself away from this energy. You know, you know how to balance it out and you're pretty happy right now. You're pretty good. You're feeling good. Yin, that is gorgeous. You've balanced out, you've balanced out your feminine energy. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Oh wow. I didn't mean to peek at the bottom of the deck, but I did see to the sea. Okay. So some of you might be thinking of traveling. Or you're planning on traveling you you're very forward thinking you're, you're forward looking now I'm hearing rather than looking at the past you actually thank there's something about you being grateful for being able to pull yourself out of this rock bottom and get yourself into this state of great happy happy happiness great happy happy happiness okay <laughs> okay and even though you're surrounded by a lot of people who wear a lot of masks around you who might not know how to be real with you um, for some reason I'm hearing that um, oh yeah two two look at that two and I said two could be significant. The number two came out. This is 16. One, I'm hearing one and six for some reason. Okay, so um, seven, two, and um, 26, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight could be a significant number. seeing that I, I, I'm seeing a vision of like you know goblins 
prancing about wearing these masks um, in my mind's eye. <laughs> Anyways, let's look into the tarot and see if we can get some signs. Okay, we have nine of wands, right? Nine of wands, we have judgment, okay? Um, and we have the two of cups. Again, another two. Very synchronistic, pile number one. Okay, so you might be drawn to pile number two. Wait, oh my God, did I just say pile number one? It's pile number two. This is pile number two. So, okay. <laughs> Um, two, two, two could be very significant. You might be seeing that number. You're going to be followed around by that number a lot, even though it's three zero three right now. Okay, so yeah, you might be surrounded by you know a lot of synchronicities at this time, and you're very happy seeing these synchronicities. It's like it's like these synchronicities make you like perk up. <laughs> it's like that, you know. Yeah. You're calling judgment. You you are going to be calling judgment on these people around you. Pound number two. Yeah. Whoever it is that you're surrounded by. Dishonest people. The people who are supposed to be honest with you anyways. You know, you can't expect every single person to be honest with you. You know, it's... I mean, to me, it's a bit unrealistic. But you know how to balance that, even though you know that people are being dishonest with you, you're just like, okay. Because you're in your feminine energy when you do that, because you, when, when you drop into your fem feminine, uh, <laughs> tongue twister, feminine energy, okay, you see these people through the eyes of love, Okay, this is why this is what makes you so sweet. You see people even through, you know, through the eyes of love. You understand why they're wearing these masks around you. You un you even understand why people lie to you. People act a certain way around you. You know, um, you understand it, and you are. Is that the word sympathetic? You're a little bit sympathetic. You, you kind of pity these people, even though, you know, you being around them, you're calling judgment with you just being you, basically. With the people around you, okay? And even though you have had to, you know, bring yourself out of this state, rock bottom, look at that. You are a... <sighs> You're a very strong survivor. Look at that. She stitched up her clothes so many times. You still don't care. You're still growing. You're still moving along. You're still happy. Right? With happy, happy. Great happiness. Even though you know you're surrounded by goblins but not all goblins are are bad you know some goblins could be really cute I have an imaginary one myself <laughs> yes um, yeah anyway so the signs I'm seeing is Nine of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius and Capricorn, Judgment for me. Um, and the Two of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay? So, yes, 
pile number one, thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonates with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, did I keep seeing pile number one? It's pile number two. I'm so sorry, pile number two. Definitely, <laughs> you might have come from pile number one. Okay, so pile number two, thank you um, for coming to my reading. Um, I hope it resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so that you guys get notified in future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing, you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you, and I will see you in my next video. Hi, pile number three. You guys chose chain. Okay. Some of you might wear, actually wear a chain around your neck. Okay. Maybe your jewelry is what makes you so sweet. Something about the jewelry that you wear. Someone here could have a pink stone somewhere. A pink, I don't know, I'm seeing pink or magenta or ruby-ish right but pink it's it's very yeah you're a very good friend i'm hearing this is your chain of events that will affect your life you are a good friend you know how to network you know I think you have a lot of friends. You have a lot of friends all around the world. See that? I just realized that looks like a globe behind this chain. I've never seen that before. I thought it was like muddy water or something. Now it looks like a globe to me. So yeah, you might have lots of friends all around the world. Someone here could be from Italy or or is it that that part of Europe that's jutting out yeah Italy Spain Portugal it's like that I see a boot <laughs> oh my god what country is that that's Italy, right? I know these things. I'm not dumb. I just have like a weird memory. Okay, it will come back to me. Anyways. Um, yeah. You have friends all around the world who think that you are sweet. Who think that you know how to bring people together, link them up. You're going to experience a chain of events that is going to affect your life. Pile number three. And this will probably um, involve you traveling around the world meeting people because I'm seeing these links you know you're going to pass through several countries here okay yeah you're going to be well traveled or you are you are already well traveled um, so you have a lot of stories you have a lot of uh, memories you have a lot of um, experiences so this is what is very sweet about you you have friends from all over the world yeah you, it's, it's almost like you have a good grasp of and you you respect other cultures too you you 
you have this um, mind where you want to understand where other cultures are coming from, even though they are, you know, significantly different from yours. You know, they might do things very differently. You know, other cultures, but but I'm hearing you you respect that. That's really sweet of you. You're someone very respectable. Like you, you want to respect. I think respect is very important for you. But it has to come from um, the realest place, you know. I'll just give respect to any Tom, Dick and Harry, right? But you respect the fact that there are people who are going to do things differently. bring the, well let's do that then three cards first I'm gonna do it differently the Hierophant okay so the Hierophant Taurus energy and the eight of wands this also flipped over I'm not taking that King of Swords and Strength that popped out together. Okay? King of Swords and Strength. Strong Leo energy. Okay? And um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Right? And some fire energy. Okay? Um, you are like I said, with the Hierophant here, someone to be respected to. The, the way you respect others, that's the same kind of respect you are um, always manifesting for yourself. You are also meeting people who respect you in the same way, okay? Who respect your space, who respect your feelings, who respect who you are as a person, you know, your personality, um, the way you are. You could be, you know, some sort of teacher here. Wise, you're so wise. You give really sound advice to people who need it, to, to people in the dark, you know? It's like, look at this owl, she's like in the moonlight, right? And that's so cute that this this owl is literally reading stories to this one kid. You might have a I'm hearing a storybook voice. A storybook voice. Yeah. Stories intrigue you. You love hearing stories from others. You love hearing stories about other cultures look at these um like, like with the eight of wands you have different umbrellas here you're going to probably collect different um <laughs> yeah maybe umbrellas even you know um souvenirs from all over the place right yeah you're flying around the world here you are going to be flying around the world You are a strength, a pillar to others. You're the voice of truth, of reason. That's what I'm hearing. You're the voice of reason. You're very reasonable. You're reasonable, you're respected, you're respectable. And you are surrounded by people who respect you the same way. Okay? Yeah. You are literally a light. Look at that. I think this is my favorite Queen of Swords out of all the decks. Usually, usually, you know, the Queen of Swords is depicted as someone very, you know, sharp. Someone with a sword, but this is someone with a needle who's threading twinkly lights in her dress, you know? 
I really love this Queen of Swords, but no, well, Queen of Swords, maybe King of Swords, right? Queen of Swords too. That looks like a queen to me, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> your eyes, you have a very soft gaze. There's something about your gaze. That's what makes you sweet. Delicate. There's something delicate about you. Yeah, you have a delicate touch. You're very admired. I'm seeing here with the twinkly lights around you, you are admired. And respected by a lot of people around you. With strength and the King of Swords. It's two very powerful, respectable cards, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm hearing diplomatic, yes, that's the word, diplomatic. Diplomat, diplomat, uh, Librans, okay, some of you might be Librans. Diplomatic. I respect this part. Yeah. We have to the sea, which means traveling to me in this deck, okay? To the sea, definitely. You're going to be traveling around the world. Um, I'm here with Hierophant here. You're going to be uh, sharing your knowledge, sharing your wisdom, okay? There's something about you. Generate light, generate heat, generate. You could be generators um, in in your what I'm hearing human design, okay? Or manifesto generates that what manifesting generators, yeah. Between worlds, okay. <clears throat> That's amazing. Between worlds, between worlds, between countries, between worlds. And yang. Oh. I didn't want to peek at the bottom of the deck, but it just, you know, it just happens. Right, so serendipity. You might be seeing a lot of signs of synchronicity, yeah, synchronicities. There's something about you literally following these signs and synchronicities and it's leading you to wherever it is that you're going to be led to in different parts of the world yeah definitely you're going to be using your masculine energy a lot during your travels too i mean um, you will be in your masculine energy energy whether you are a feminine or not because i'm seeing here with the king of, even though this is a king of swords card but it's literally a queen on the card, right? It's the feminine king of swords um, energy. I know that sounds confusing, but anyways, but yeah. But with strength, yang, king of swords is very, I don't know, it's like very sit up straight kind of energy. But you do it so, so gracefully elegantly there's an elegance to you okay there's an elegance to the way you teach too yeah um 
Let's go into tarot. I'm gonna use, wait, no, not tarot. This is the deck I'm going to use. Right. You have wisdom, a lot of wisdom to teach children. And children, there's something about your voice that gets kids to listen to you. Children love listening to you, especially in your storybook voice, I'm hearing, you know? And they will listen to you. It's like, <laughs> it's like you're the Pied Piper, but with kids instead of, you know, rats and mice. You're the, with kids, you're like the Pied Piper. So you know how to, to I guess, jog their imagination. That's what I'm hearing too. Something about you having to use your imagination as well as your um, intellect. I kind of got, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being reminded of one of the big part readings that I did. I don't remember which one, but there's something about you going around the world you know, teaching something or delivering something with your voice and you're going to be delivering it with with uh, strength. You, you might be, you know, lecturing, I'm hearing doing talks. Um, yeah. Interviewing, researching, um, investigating yes that's what I'm hearing investigating investigating okay Look at that. Okay, so we have balancing act. This card came out in another pile, so you might be drawn to another pile. Okay, we have movement. Look at that. Look how look. You are definitely traveling. Whoever it is that chose this pile, you're definitely moving, uh, moving around the world here, and with wizard of awareness because you are manifesting this. Yes. Okay. You could be a very strong um, air sign with a strong with strong Leo in your charts, or a Leo with strong air in your chart, um, or you could have strong Taurus, Gemini, Libra, yeah, air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're going to be taking your your wisdom all around the world. Oh my god, are you serious right now? This looks similar. Look at those two cards. <laughs> and they're facing the same way too. That's amazing. Um... I'm seeing this hot air balloon. It's reminding me of, I don't know how to pronounce that, Cappadocia, Capit, <laughs> forgive me if I butcher the name, but that's Turkey, right? Yes. Um, you might be um, traveling to Turkey somewhere. And look at that. Um, the, the, the windmills, so Netherlands, right? Forgive me if I'm wrong, ne Netherlands, Amsterdam, um, um, Sweden, Finland, the northern countries. Ostriches, okay, wherever there are ostriches. The 
between worlds, you're definitely traveling soon. This is a strong message for you, pal number three, even though you came here um, to find out what's so sweet about you, right? What is sweet about you is that you are, I think you have a, a, a thirst to, to, to see the world, like to see other places. You have this thirst and you are building up your strength, you're building up your confidence to do this. You're manifesting this with wizard of awareness. And maybe you already have done this, all right? And you have a lot of stories. If you've already, you, if you are someone who has, you know, experienced a lot of cultures, a lot of countries, a lot of places, you know, a lot of people, right? You might be someone who tells a lot of stories, a lot of, yeah, and, you know, the younger generation, I'm hearing the younger generation, any younger generation than you, they love listening to you. They love, they love hearing how you were able to balance, you know, um, your career of uh, moving about maybe, right? But still, look at that, there's a ship too. Like, <laughs> there is a boat or a ship in both of these cards falling so synchronistic you guys with serendipity you can't tell me that's not synchronistic okay <laughs> so yeah you're traveling pile number three you're already traveling okay affirm it you're already traveling. Yeah, you're all. You are already traveling, and you're manifesting this. And you are aware. This is going to give you a lot of um, insight, okay, to your own self, to where you were brought up or. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. To your own culture. It's going to make you, it's going to allow you to, to respect and even have more, yeah, more respect and more understanding for your own culture. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. I like the, the, the energy of this power because you're very forward looking you're very forward thinking you're dreamers you know you you dream but you're very practical about your dreams too you're very practical about the way you go about your dreams with the king of swords strength and wizard of awareness here like you are aware of what to do and you're doing it a lot of uh, cards indicating travel with serendipity here like you this this isn't it's fucking 333 you guys are you for real right now it's 333 am yeah okay so <laughs> pile number three um there's also three on this wizard here right uh yeah uh 10 one could be a significant number that's 11 11 could be a significant number so 111 you could be seeing a lot of 111 333 um was it 222 that i saw in another pile i have forgotten but yeah anyways pile number three amazing amazing okay so um what else Anything else? I don't think that's it. I, I just heard my tummy grumbling, so I don't know if you heard that. But if you did, that means someone here has a hunger and thirst to <laughs> to to see the world, to go traveling, to allow these these chain of events that is going to affect 
you moving from one to place to another, okay? Between worlds, right? So, um, pile number uh, three. Thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you and I will see you in my next video, okay?